Hey, what's up guys? It's Elastic Sparty here, and in today's video, we are looking at the Tier 10 Japanese Destroyer, the Shimakaze. Now, somewhat recently, I got the Shimakaze. Uh, I believe it was about two or three weeks ago, but I haven't played it all that much. Been uh, having to grind up a lot of other ships, and I've just been busy in general. But I have played the Shimakaze a few times on the public test server, so I n know a good amount about the ship, what it's good at, and sort of what it's not good at. Um, but there's not a lot of downsides to the Shimakaze. It is overall a really good ship, and I hope to explain that and show that throughout this video. Taking a look at my commander skills, preventative maintenance, then I've got a rather interesting build. I've got expert marksman. Uh, torpedo acceleration, adrenaline rush, and last stand. Obviously, you want to get last stand first. Then I went with survivability expert and torpedo expertise. Uh, again, health is uh, what you would go for first, and then concealment to top it all off. I'll, I'll kind of explain that build throughout my video. Um, but moving on to the equipment, I've got main armaments mod one. Aiming Systems Mod 1, Torpedo Reload, uh, Propulsion, I believe I've got Steering Gears, I might have Propulsion, it's honestly a toss up between the two, and obviously Concealment. So I go right in to see, my gearing buddy taps, uh, spot, uh, he's tapping on the minimaps saying to me that uh, there's probably a destroyer of sorts in, in that location, so I'm actually going to turn away, I don't really want to get into a knife fight with uh, what could be a gearing or a uh, Tashkin. So instead, I'm gonna go after this Missouri. What's nice though is I do get that cap, but I don't want to stick around here long. Uh, the longer this Missouri is spotted and he doesn't know what is spotting him, the more likely he's actually to hit his radar and uh, potentially shoot me and do a lot of damage to me. So I'm gonna dump my load. I was expecting him to go a little bit more forward into the smoke, but he actually decides to reverse. A bit of an interesting decision. Uh, a bit of an interesting decision for sure. I get radared. I think it, it was the Missouri's radar that gets me initially. Uh, I get one torpedo hit on him, but I think the Baltimore is actually radaring me now. Uh, and he might have actually radared me from the start because he did get spotted for about uh, at about 9 point I think he got spotted at 9.7 and then I got spotted around 9.5 for him so, and that's pretty much exactly his radar Missouri shoots me and I take a lot of damage from that one salvo and I'm already down to around half health very very quickly into this game so American radar it lasts for I believe 40 seconds for the Baltimore 45 seconds if it's the Des Moines, I believe those are the correct numbers. Uh, if they aren't, correct me in chat below. But radar finally goes down. Uh, but again, a lot of health has been has been taken from me. And I tell my team, we need to focus this guy down. Because this guy should not have been able to push up this far. And not taken uh, a lot of fire. Which he is nice. Still at a little over three quarters health. Uh, so I, I find that completely unacceptable, and I, I want this guy dead as quickly as possible. So I pop into this, I believe, Kagero smoke, and I start pelting the Baltimore. However, Baltimore makes a huge and critical mistake, and he actually decides to turn pretty much right into the torpedoes. He manages to dodge one of them, but eats two of them. Um, but he's bleeding for health. It looks like he already repaired because uh, he is burning and 47 health and he's dead. Thank you to the Benson for actually killing him. Shima Torps coming in. Uh, I know this is a Shima because look at that Torp spread. There's 15 of them and then sure enough there is Shimakaze. I shoot my front gun and I get a nice hit on him. But I'm actually going to need to smoke up because, as you can see right there, I take a very, very nice uh, shot from, I think it was the Friedrich. It looks like the Friedrich. So I need to pop my smoke. And uh, I do that here. I repair and pop my speed boost to slow down. 
just so I can dodge those shells there and the Shimas there. I send one set of Torps front and behind and the Shima has to come out. He wants to get uh, get me killed. So he ends up eating one of my Torps. Uh, so that was very, very nice. I get my first devastating strike of the game. So one thing I do want to point out here, uh, if you did not go with, uh, I think it, I forgot what the perk is called exactly, but I call it the health perk. If you don't go with the health perk, then guess what? You are sitting at 118 health, which any shell in the game can pretty much kill you at, at that, uh, at that health. So there's a reason why you go with the hit points. Again, I would basically pretty much be useless here even though I have 118 hit points I can't do much with that and that will come in very very uh, critical later in the game so so now my build now a lot of you are thinking why in the heck would you ever pick expert marksman on a Shimakaze and why would you pick adrenaline rush and why would you pick torpedo acceleration why would you pick you know this this and this so First of all, I want to say I am running the 12 kilometer torpedoes on the Shimikaze. The reason you run torpedo acceleration is because the the uh, reaction time for the 12 kilometer torpedoes with torpedo acceleration is actually less. It's like a few, I think it's like 100 milliseconds or, or something like that, um, or like uh, maybe. I think it's around 100 milliseconds or something, something insane. Um, but it is faster, and if that is pretty neg negligible, um, just because that can be accounted for by lag and and a lot of other stuff, um, still you you are getting better torpedoes in general. They're not as fast, but that doesn't matter because they've got better concealment. Um, so you're getting better torpedoes. And you get 2. Uh, I think it's 2.6 kilometer extra range. You see 9.6 range on those torpedoes there. So you're not quite out of radar from like a Des Moines, which has like 9.9. .9, but you can very easily and quickly get out of that. Uh, I was kind of in a pickle with that Baltimore, but that is something that you're not too worried about. If you are running the 8 kilometer torpedoes, then you really have to get close and you are really r risking uh, you know getting radar quite often so the other thing you could do is instead of picking expert marksman and adrenaline rush you could do something with RPF personally I don't find RPF to be that critical uh, on the Shimakaze however some people do like to run it just to know where some DDs are and uh, so they can deal with them appropriately but I actually like expert marksman because uh, and this is something I want to point out here. I was waiting for that Kagero to shoot, and then I pop my smoke. The reason I do that is if he didn't shoot, he wouldn't be spotted. So, uh, if he's not spotted, then I can't kill him. So, I waited for him to shoot, then I pop my smoke. So, but a lot of times, the reason why I like Expert Marksman launching some torpedoes here, I'm trying to get the Devoin as well. And just gonna start helping this. The reason I go with expert marksman though is looking at other tier time destroyers. You've got the gearing, which uh, is very deadly in close range. The let's see, you've got the cob, not too much to worry about there. You've got the grosvoy again in terms of spotting, not that big of a difference. Other shimakazis, and then you've also got uh, the Z52, which I believe has like a 6.2 kilometer detection get some nice torpedoes off on that Des Moines and I get my second devastating strike but so those are the few destroyers that you can get spotted by and a lot of uh, two of them have the exact same concealment as you so what does that mean you're gonna you're gonna spot them as soon as uh, they spot you so my my theory is that you guys are gonna be going towards each other most likely your guns aren't always going to be locked on and ready to aim right at that sector. So if you can swing your guns faster, and these Shimmer guns, they are very, very deadly. They You could saw you saw with the Kigero, they were pelting him for 2k damage each time. So if you're able to do that, 
and uh, keep your guns on target while you're turning away, you can effectively become a very strong Russian destroyer with Japanese guns. So, uh, in my opinion, that is way more important to me than something like RPF. Being able to survive in a gunfight, for me, me personally, is much, much more important uh, than knowing where a destroyer is because most of the time I have a general idea of where the destroyers are. Uh, usually they're on caps. Usually they're uh, torping battleships. So uh, that sort of thing is not too big of a problem for me. But uh, so that's mainly the reason why, I, you know, and again, I can kite people very well while keeping my guns on target. That's the biggest thing. Okay, so that was the game there. I finished the game with 112,000 damage. Again, not the best game ever in the Shimakaze, but I thought this uh, was a very good representation on how you play the Shima and what it's good at. Uh, it's a good it's a good cap contester despite uh, the well-known abilities of the Americans to be good cap contesters. It is still a good cap contester. So 112,000 damage, two devastating strikes, one on the Shimakaze, one on Des Moines. Three ships killed and one assisted base captured. Team score, 2,388 base XP. Uh, a very, very good game. And I didn't do all that much damage. 112,000 damage is sounds like a lot, but it really isn't all that much in uh, in T10. Usually, a good Shimakaze game can go from 150 to upwards to like 220, something like that. So, again, not the best game, but I think it was... Uh, it warrants a video detailed report again most of your torpedo most of your damage is coming from torpedoes a little bit from fire and flooding because uh, i got 10k uh from flooding damage there and 20,000 from high explosive uh kagero ate a lot of that the uh what was it the izumo ate a lot of that as well uh the baltimore here and there um but again those guns are quite deadly. They are very deadly, uh, especially when you get all six of them humming at once. They can be a very, very uh, fearsome, uh, fearsome guns and fearsome destroyer uh, as well. So, pretty short game, only 11 minutes and 11 seconds. Wow, what a, uh, <laughs> what a time. Credits and XP wise, again, not the best credits, but 200 grand at T10. I'm I'm going to take that every single time. And some nice Commander XP as well. Uh, Could have been better. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Shimakaze replay. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think of the build. And if you are, or what builds you guys are trying. Because I'm still open for suggestions. Uh, however, I think this is a good and interesting build. But if you did like the video, leave a like. If you want to comment and have a requested ship that you want to us to kind of review and play uh then leave it down in the comment section down below we haven't done one of those in a while but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video as always but uh and I, anyways i will see you guys in the next video on wednesday